Hello and welcome to my guide on Castle Wars boosting. For this guide I will go through and explain how to do rotations with our friends chat as well as some of our various rules. These rules will include how to do games with perms, game warnings, capping the flag, doubles, buying and selling and any other information. This method has shown how Minigames Friends Chat does it, as well as some other Castle Wars Friends Chats. First of all, when you join the Friends Chat Minigames, you'll ask what Friends Chat is doing games, because we never do them within the same Friends Chat to prevent crashes from coming. And once you're given a Friends Chat, you'll be added, you'll have to wait 60 seconds, and then you'll hop over to that Friends Chat. Most of the time, this friends chat will be minigames too, but if there isn't someone on that's able to add using that account, a different host from the friends chat will host. When you join the friends chat, make sure you ask to join games before you actually join, and the current coordinator will give you a team to join. As you can see in the friends chat there, Oaken told me to join Sarah Damon. If there's quite a long wait for your game, you can enter the red portal, which is Zemarak. And you may get into the game just so you can get some sailors and maybe a silver ticket. Once the next game is ready to start, you just enter the portal you're, you're given. As I was given Sarah Doman, I'll enter that portal first. And simply just wait for the game to start. This time in the lobby is used to make sure everyone is in the teams. And the coordinator will ask if anyone has been left out. Once the game starts, you exit the waiting room as you'll be kicked out after 2 minutes. Start running over to Zamorak Castle to get the flag. It is best to cap the flag at least a couple of times in case a crasher comes. So we have that as a rule with our French chat. Just head over, grab the flag and cap it. You might have to wait a couple of minutes, but that's okay, it's not too long. And it takes about a minute to cap the flag. Once you've capped the flag, you can just AFK for the rest of the game. Once you join the game, there is no ticket message, so you'll have to so we have to wait until 19 minutes to get the ticket message. You need at least 5 people on each side to get this message to appear. If you've joined games and you're doing rotations, you'll rotate from Saradomen to Zemarak to Saradomen to Zemarak, etc. You just follow the rotation, and this is sharing wins with everyone. If you don't want to do rotations, you have the option of having a friend go onto the Zemarak team so you can win every game. Although this has to be a friend because we don't allow multi-logging, we don't want any rules broken while using our friends chat. If you're planning to leave soon, please let the coordinator know in the friends chat that you want to leave. Usually this is a two game warning, so just type in the friends chat 2GW. This will let the coordinator know that you want to leave within two games. It does not have to be two full games in order for you to leave. If, for example, there's 8 minutes left on this Sarah Damon game, that will count as one of the games, and your next game is Zemarak Boosting, and you only need to stay until 18 minutes is left, so that's just 2 minutes on the Zemarak side, and then you're free to go. This is just so teams can be kept balanced, and in case we're low on numbers, we have enough to get the ticker message for at least one more game. Although that probably won't happen during a spotlight. If you have an emergency, then you're allowed to leave as soon as you can, as long as you let the coordinator know so they can balance games out for the next game and make sure teams are even. Due to people joining and leaving games, teams can get imbalanced and... And sometimes the coordinator will offer you a double win. This just simply means if you're on Sarah Damon, you'll be offered to go to Sarah Damon again. And after that, your rotation will continue from there, as seen on the screen in the example. I will now explain buying and selling in games. If you or someone doesn't happen to make it into the game due to the portal being strong or just lagging out or something, we'll usually buy you in. So this requires everyone on the Sarah Damon team to sell. This simply means just going to the RuneScape lobby and waiting until that person gets in the game. When someone lobbies on the Sarah Damon team, it will free up a spot on the team, therefore allowing anyone in the waiting room to get a message to join the game when the game ticks over. Once everyone is bought in, everyone's free to log back in and continue AFKing as usual. That's pretty much everything you need to know about doing Castle Wars with the Minigames Friends chat during the Castle Wars Spotlight. 
If you need any further help, you're welcome to ask within the friends chat and I'm sure any f rank or anyone in particular will be able to help you and answer your questions. If you want more information on this friends chat, please check out their forum thread in the minigames and D&D's forum. Thank you for watching this guide and bye.